So I think we're all set to do the layers now. Okay, now how does the how does layers work? Now, how would I? Okay, what are the options so that I can view the Docker of the of the layers? Okay, so if you go to Tools and you click on Object Manager, okay, if you click on that and and um, you know a a Docker will show up. So these are the layer manager or object manager. And if you notice here, there's a master page and there's also page one because I'm in page one, right? If I click on this icon here to add another page and you notice there's page two, right? This is page one and this is page two. I'm gonna delete page two by right mouse click on this and you go delete page. Now I only have one here. Now the default, if you click on, if you draw something in one layer, it will call, be called layer one. Okay. And this master page, this master page is also, it's also default, wherein let's say you want to create a background for all the pages, you can use the master page. But for this project, we're just going to use, we're not really going to use the master page. Okay. So, so layout number one. Okay. It means to say all of these objects are in layer number one. Now, how would you know if an object, let's say I'm going to make an object like that and fill it with black, how would I know that this object, which layer is this object in, right? So I click on it, and here in the status bar, it says here rectangle on layer one, okay? And in here, if you notice, it is in layer one, right? Because we only have one layer, okay? Now, I'm going to minimize this. Okay. So let's say I'm going to rename this layer. You know? So I click on it. So make that, uh, let's say, the base. So that's my base, uh, base color. Okay. And if you want to create another layer, so let's say I'm going to make a layer for my, you know, for this shading. I'm going to click on my new layer icon here and it says layer one so I'll put here shade for shading okay it's gonna minimize that and I'm also going to make another layer for my uh, color so I click on my new layer for my collar and sleeves so I'll put there sleeves collar okay okay now I'm ready to drag the objects to the certain layer. So I'm going to delete this first. Okay. So the base, I call it base. Right. So this is my base. Okay. I know it's already in base because it says here curve on base. Okay. I'm going to click on the shading, which is this one. The shading right now is still on base. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this and drag it to the shade uh, layer here. So I click the object and drag it to the shade. Okay, you know it's already locked when you know the, the two icons there show up and click there. And you notice in the layer shade there is a curve, okay, which is this one here, the curve. Now, the I'm going to select this one here, which is my collar, and I'll move it to my collar. So click and drag it to sleeves and collar. There. Now this is already there. And this to this one, move it there. And this one, move it there. Yeah. Now if I click here, it's in the sleeves collar. In the shading it's in the curve of shade now going back to the docker here uh, this um, this uh, the eye icon here means to say that's the visible you can show and hide it let's say you want to hide the the base so I click on that and you won't see it right let's say I'll put it back again see the eyes closed I'll put it open again which is visible see the shade I click on that 
going back the sleeves back okay now okay now why is it now why is it important now like why are this important the layers important okay so it is important because you can actually let's say you have a shirt here and then you want to show to a client if your design what would your design look like in a different colored shirt right okay so in order to do that what I'm going to do I'm going to select all of this okay and then I click on copy or control C okay so when I click on copy it's in the clipboard already okay. and then what I'm going to do I'm going to hide all of these I'm gonna hide all of that first okay except for the guides so I'm I hit that and then what I'm going to do I'm going to um, create a layer new layer so I'll put here base 2 okay and then I'll make another one uh, shade 2 and then I click on new layer again and then I'll put their sleeves and color sleeve color to click there yeah okay. now I'll go to base 2 and then I'll paste my my objects right so that's the one so it's already pasted okay. and then now before putting it on their respective layers I'm going to um, color it first okay. let's say I decided to make it a not a fluorescent shirt let's say let's say um, a lighter green shade okay and then I'm going to click on this one uh, okay I'm gonna ungroup that first so click this and this and I'll make it the same color and then I click on the black hold on control and click until you get a darker shade of green let's say that's fine same as this I'm gonna sample that color here and then hold down shift and pour okay. so this one I'm going to sample the color the base color and then I'm going to hold on shift and pour it to the shading okay now I click on that there's an outline so I have to remove the outline so go to your outline tool and click on none and go back to your palette here hold down control there okay I'll just undo that I think only one step okay so I've got that green now now I'm ready to drag the object. This is my base, which is on base two. Look at the status bar, so I'm fine with that. So what I'm going to do is the color here. I'll put it in the sleeve and color two, and then this one too. Sleeve and color two. Okay, and then this one would be in shading. Shade two, I mean. Okay. Now you can see this icons here you can actually color that because what I'm planning to do is I'm going to because this one's green so I'm going to click on the base to double click on that and then you can see I can color that with with green okay so that means to say uh, that's the color of the the shirt okay. so this shade 2 I'll make it darker green okay and in the sleeve and collar, I can just make it darker, dark, dark as green. Okay. Now this one. Okay. Now I can hide all of the base two shade two sleeves and collar. Then I'll make this visible. Though the first one that I done, I've done. Oops. And I'm going to color this. I'm gonna color that. Um. Now blue. This one would be say shade. That's only representation of the of the uh, of the shirt. Yeah. So now I'm good. Click here. 
Okay, now I'm going to make one more layer for my design, for my t-shirt design. So I click on new layer here and I'm going to name it uh, design. Okay, so click here. And I'll make the design as black, that's fine. Okay, so I'm in my design layer. Now how would you know where which layer are you in? Okay, so see this one, if, if it's red and bold, you say you are in that layer and then I have something in my clipboard so I just paste oh, okay so it's this one here and I'm going to make it smaller I'll put it here there so that's my design I'm gonna group that that's my design now in here let's say I want to show a client okay how does it look like when it's uh, in a green shirt so what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn off my all my blues here okay so uh, and I'm going to turn on or make it make visible all the greens Oops. there so that's how how we do it because it's all in layers Now I'm going to explain about the icons here. Okay, so we already know that the uh, the I'm just gonna move this here. That for to make it visible, okay, or to hide it, these icons of the eye. Okay, now see this printer icon here. That means to say, uh, if you let's say um, going to okay the base here. So that's the base, right? And that's the base and curve. Okay, so if I don't want it to be printed, okay, I'm just going to click on that one. So that icon there for no print means to say uh, it's visible here in the graphic in Corel Draw, but it won't be printed once you send it to the printer. Okay. Okay. Now this one here is like a pencil icon. That means to say you're locking the object. Okay. So let's say the base, or let's do the the design, okay, the t-shirt design. So that's in group two objects on design, okay, so which is this one here. I'm going to turn off or lock the design layer, okay. Now try to click on the, oops, try to click on the, on the uh, or try choosing it you can't choose it because it's locked right so that's the locked icon now going back to the top part of the docker here the first one which is show object properties okay so we already know that right so we click on that let's say I'm going to maximize so that's the curve right but you don't know the properties of those curve right so if you click on that that's a curve okay that shows that in sleeves color you got one two three four objects or four, four curves so you click on this icon here show object properties then you can see actually I can I can make this bigger here now it shows the fill which is the RGB values here no outline it says outline none okay so if you click on that one it doesn't show up now what is this second icon here so edit across layer it means to say right now it's activated it means to say in any layer I can edit see I can edit see I can edit. even though my active layer is sleeves and color but I can still see edit my my uh, shade okay? but once you click on this one edit across layer see right now you know that which layer is activated is because of this green uh, sorry red uh, red text right so that's the that's the only layer that I can edit see if I try clicking on the shade it doesn't right? but if I click on the sleeves and color I can do it because um, this is turned on now if you want to edit any layer so you just click on this one 
now I can edit any layer okay now if you want to edit a specific one just click on that and the only layer that's uh, that is activated that's the only layer that you can can move which is this one here say this I can't so basically the the use of layers is is good because you're organizing things you're organizing your objects and it's easier to you know to to turn off one layer okay let's say you want the green sleeves or you want to turn off all the blues and then make the greens visible okay let's say you want to turn off the design that's no design with design so so yeah this is really useful for you know for sign makers or t-shirt printer or anybody who's doing presentation like you're, you're pres presenting it to a client like the artwork 